friends, it's Amy at Doki Doki Forest. Welcome, I'm so glad you're here. What are we up to today? Hmm, well, I realize it has been quite some time since I've done a prompt page and I've really missed doing it. I love getting prompts, random prompts that you then have to figure out what to do with them and create some kind of a page. So today we're going to do some Janet Nash prompts. Now these are prompts that she gave out on October 2nd. So they're from a couple of weeks ago, but I was there for the live stream and I really wanted to do them and I didn't do it then, but I thought I'm going to do it now. So Janet, every week she has on Monday a live stream that you can attend either live or you can watch the replay later anytime. You don't have to be there right when she's doing it. Uh, but she pulls prompts each week and reads them out. And then if you want, you can take them and create something with them. So for October 2nd, oh, and I'll have her link down below, of course. So feel free to Pop down there and check that out. If you haven't been to Janet's channel, definitely go over there. She's always up to something amazing. So for October 2nd, the prompts were to design your own mug of the day, unicorn, painty paper flowers, and something from page 34 of a magazine. So right now I'm taking some paper I already had. Uh, I have a drawer full of some old painty paper that I had made pulled it out and decided to sketch some flowers on there, first in black, and then I'm adding some Posca pen to it just to give them some rosy cheeks and a little bit of white, just to try to make it pop a little more from the paper. And that will be sort of our background. And next we will go to page 34 of a magazine. So there's page 35, and on page 34 we have a beautiful flower with a bee visiting. So that will work because we already have our painty paper flowers. So I thought, well, it's not the same color, but that can be okay. We can pop that in and see how it goes. And I wanted to rip this image because I really loved the look of ripped edges. And I also wasn't sure if I was going to add some paint. So if you rip the edges of a magazine image, then it's a lot easier to kind of paint with acrylic and sort of blend the image into your page. So here's my mug of the day. And I drew it so large, I almost didn't have room for the little handle, <laughs> but I got it in there. And I want everything to look sketchy. I'm not trying to make everything look neat and refined. I just want everything to look like a sketch in a book. So my flowers are all loosely sketched. My mug is loosely sketched and I have a little quote there magic is just science that we don't understand yet and that's from Arthur C. Clarke but it also makes me think of Thor in the original Thor movie when he's talking to Jane and he says where I come from science and magic are one and the same I love that and here's our unicorn. Got to have our unicorn. I couldn't wait to draw this. This was the main reason why I really wanted to do this <laughs> this week's. Um, I remember when Janet read out the prompts and I had this image in my mind because she said, you know, design your own mug. And then there was a unicorn. And right away, I had this image in my mind of a unicorn just chilling out in this big old cup of tea, mug of tea. And I wanted the unicorn to look very whimsical. And now I'm just going to paint everything, or not everything, but I'm going to paint the teacup and the unicorn. And I'm using watercolors. So for the teacup, I'm using some shimmery, shiny Paul Rubens watercolors. And then I'm going to just use my large palette with my really old watercolors on there actually for the um, unicorn. And page 34 of a magazine, it's such a fun prompt, but I just want you to know, I did look through many magazines before I found 
that page 34 that worked. Everything else, it was either text or it was like a picture of, you know, a cactus or, you know, it was the inside of a house, but it, it didn't really go. So I did look through quite a few magazines, but I didn't think you'd want to see me just looking through magazine after magazine. So I just, once I found that birds in bloom, I thought that one works. Well, let's go with that. And Janet always says too, it doesn't have to be page 34. It can just be any page from a magazine. So that's one of the things I love about her prompts is that they're very flexible. You know, if don't, don't get frustrated if you're looking at magazine after magazine of page 34, you can't find anything, just use any image. And I love that freedom to create that Janet always gives us. But I was determined to stick to page 34 only because I have a rather large stack of magazines, so I thought, there's got to be something. <laughs> and I'm trying to add this white gel pen for some detail. I added some colored pencil and now a little white gel pen, but I think I need a new one. It really wasn't working too well. I didn't really get much ink to come out of it at all, but that's okay. I could have used a white Posca pen too because I had used that earlier for the painty paper so I I could have done that but um, I did not so you can see I've got this is my big palette I mean I guess you can't see it because it goes way off screen but it's very large and it has watercolor paints that I've been using for like I don't know it's been at least a decade but I love the colors on this palette and I actually don't even remember what brand they are now. <laughs> but I really like them so much. I just find I have other watercolor sets, but these ones are my favorite. And that's the Kurataki Starry Night watercolor set. And that's like the last of my real goldy gold color that I have. And I love those. And then a little dry brushing here just to try to get some detail so that way you can see the flowing mane and fur. This is one very relaxed unicorn. And now I'm just figuring out my placement. And not just that, but we're going to make a little snip in this teacup because I don't want the unicorn on top of it. I want the unicorn in it, having a nice little soak. And then I realized that there are some white spots, places where you can see the paper of the journal once I was putting everything on. And I didn't want to have that white space if possible. I wanted to try to cover that up. So a little bit of acrylic paint went on there and I like that much better. And then I'm using some glue stick here. I did also use the tacky glue as well. There's some spots where the glue stick just wasn't cutting it. And definitely when I use the thicker paper here, then I have to use the tacky glue just to make sure it is really on there. So I put that on and then I always weigh it down with something, either a rock or if I have something heavy on my desk weigh it down and just let that dry really nice and then it gets nice and flat. And you can get all those little edges and everything. And then once that was dry, I'm coming in with some finger painting, same color as the background, but see, I just kind of wanted to blend in that flower. So I'm just covering up the background so that way you can just see the flower and the bee. And then I thought, I would put some paint in between the flowers to try to get them to stand out a little bit more because I felt like they were hard to see with the background being purple and the flowers were purple. So just trying to break it up a little bit so you can see everything a little bit easier. And then just for fun, I thought I would add some dots just to make it more whimsical. Maybe that's some magic sparkling all around. And this neon yellow, I thought I didn't like, but honestly, I've been using it lately and I love it. It's an older paint that I got, I think, when my younger son turned three for a Batman project <laughs> and I still have it. And I was thinking neon, I don't know if I'm ever going to use that. And I pulled it out to use on the jelly plate 
and on some painty paper and I discovered I love it. So I am using that here. It almost looks like it glows. And that's it. A little bit of sparkle Mod Podge was added here and there on the page because I just wanted it to be super sparkly and super magical. And that does it. We have our mug of the day. We have our unicorn, painty paper flowers, and something from page 34 of a magazine. So thank you so much, Janet, for these prompts. Love doing this. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you have a fantastic week, and I will see you again soon.